Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video, well, we're going to kind of follow up a video I did a while back on uh, five fun and easy songs for mandolin. In this video, I'm going to call it five more fun songs that are maybe more intermediate level. They're not easy songs, but they're not really difficult either. But if you've got your chords down, your chord playing down with your left hand, you could probably play most of the songs on this list. They're a lot of fun to play on the mandolin, and some of them I bet you never thought you'd see being played on the mandolin, including the first one, which I'll talk about in a minute. But first, before we get to that, if you're new here, thanks very much for checking out this channel. We really appreciate your support. But don't hesitate to hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right uh, corner of your screen. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back. And again, we appreciate your support. But if you're looking to improve your mandolin playing, there are various things you can click on down below that will help you in that regard. The first thing down there is my video lesson series called Learned Rock and Pop Mandolin with Mike DeJong. That one's been around now for a couple of years, but it's proven very popular with many of my viewers. For $29.99, you can get a series of videos taking you all the way from beginner to intermediate. There's videos, there's lessons, there's tab over there. Check it out. And speaking of tab, if you're looking for tab for many of the songs on this channel, including the songs in this video, go to my Patreon page. Again, the link is down below. For as low as $5 a month, you can gain access to that. And you can, uh, well, you can check out a plethora of mandolin tabs for many rock and pop songs. And many of those tabs are not available anywhere else, at least for mandolin. I know because I've done them myself. Finally, check out my affiliate links down below to Sweetwater and Amazon, as well as the Johansson mandolin link. But that's enough business. Let's take a look at five more fun songs for mandolin here on RPM. All right, so the first song on my list here is Tracy Chapman's Fast Car. It's a really cool little lick in the key of A. So you can start off with your A chord there, your standard cowboy, open A, second fret, second fret, open, open. But the riff goes. So what am I doing there? Well, I'm going on the uh, the sixth fret to the open here, sixth fret of the G, and so right, so six open six, and then I'm sliding all the way to this E note here, the top uh, finger there, or the bottom finger, I guess, on your A chord. So you want to slide all the way down to make that A chord and catch that E note, and that's really the tricky part of this song, going like this, right? So. And you want to pause a little bit before hitting that E again. You hit it twice. And then you catch that A note there, second fret of your G string. So one more time slowly. And I'm using my second finger here. And then sliding down and catching that note with my third finger uh, there on the second fret and my second finger on the second fret. So one more time. All right, then you're going to do some octaves. You're going to go like that. A, A, A. So open A and second fret A here. So, okay, one, two, three. And then here, again, sliding up to the sixth fret, but this time you're now on the D string, all right? So you're sliding up to the sixth of the D and hitting that open A string there. Okay, so one more time slowly through the riff. Now the third time through, they go... What's that? Open, two, open, and then six, open, six. Okay, so... So one more time. And that is the main part to Tracy Chapman's Fast Car. Again, if you want the entire song, the, a lesson to the entire song, check out the, uh, the video that I have on this tune here on the channel RPM, and you can get tabs for this on my Patreon page. All right, song two on my list of five more fun songs for mandolin is this one by the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> That's 
the first part of the song. What am I doing there? Well, I'm going E minor to C to G. All right, so your E minor chord is there. Open, two, two, open. All right, and then your second chord is a C. So your standard C chord here. Second fret, third fret, open, open, right? So E minor, C. Now you're going to that cowboy G chord, right? Second fret there of your A string, third fret of your E, all right? So those are the chords for the most part. And then there's a D at the uh, end of this part. I'll show you that later. But the key to this song is the strumming pattern. So you want to go... You want to start off with a down, up, down, up, like that. I guess it's down, up, down. And then you're coming in with a, a steady downstroke pattern like that. Same thing with the C chord to the G chord. All right, so it's E minor, C, G. And then you can throw in that little riff there that goes, it goes five, four, two on your D string. And you're back, when you hit that last note, you wanna be back on your E minor chord, like that. All right, so once more through the uh, one part, through the opening part of the song, Disarmed by the Smashing Pumpkins. chord. Again, that's the first part of the song. If you want the entire song, a lesson to the whole thing, there's a video here on the channel that I've already done. Check it out and you can get tab for this on my Patreon page. All right, song number three on this list is a really fun mandolin song. It's one of the great mandolin rock and roll tunes of all time, I think. One of my favorites by the legendary Steve Earle. And it just goes... So what is that? Well, that's in the key of D. There's a D chord there that you start off with, and you just, you want to do that little, that little pickup note there, like that. And by the way, I play my D chord a little differently than most people do. I play it with my two middle fingers here. I just feel they're a little bit stronger, and you can do, you can do things like that a little bit better than like that. You see, that kind of buzzes when I use my fingers like that. So for this song, and most of the other songs, when I play an open D, I use this grip, all right? So you're going... So da 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 Your strumming is... It's just down, up, down, up, like that. And then you're going... You're going to the fifth fret, fourth fret, open, and two again. And then do that little, that little hammer-on lick there. Like that, okay? And then you're going, you go back to that fifth fret, but you stay on there a bit longer and you go, you go, so five, four, open, five, four, open, two, like that. So once more. hitting that you can also hit that D string to give yourself a double stop there and even the A will work this in this chord as well because it's all based on a D chord or you can just hit it like that with these two strings it doesn't matter I'm not really sure what Steve Earle does when uh, you know I've watched some of his uh, YouTube videos but I know he does that that little pickup note a lot of people don't do that a lot of people just play it like that but he if you listen to it closely he's doing a a pickup from the open G to that second fret A. So right? And then he goes to a C, a G chord rather. Okay, that G is your standard G chord, second fret, third, third fret of the E, second fret of the A. And then I go to a I pull in this chord, which is a sus4 chord, I believe. That's your C note there, third fret of the A, third fret of the E, so... And then back to the... And 
And that's it. That is most of the song. In fact, that's probably all of the song. But you can get an entire lesson of this tune once again on my channel, and you can get tab for this song on my Patreon page. All right, the fourth song on this list is one by Paul McCartney, but it's one that's actually from this century. That's right, Paul McCartney wrote a mandolin song back in 2007. It's called Dance Tonight, and you can play it. It's really easy. Now, one thing to keep in mind, however, uh, Paul McCartney tuned his mandolin down for this song one whole step. So while I'll play a G chord here, I'll play it in the, in the key of G, he's actually playing it in the key of F, but with the same grip, all right, the same fingering. So I'll do it in the key of G because my mandolin is tuned to regular tuning here, all right? So it goes like this. that goes right and back to simple song, but a really fun little rhythm there. So he's playing that G chord in the key of G, doing it here in the key of G, second fret of uh, the A string again, third fret of your E, and all you're going to do is you're going to slide down to the F sharp note on your E string, which is your second fret. All right, and basically that's part of a D, a D chord, but I'm not playing the whole D chord for this song, all right? I'm just playing these, these strings here. I'm not going to hit that top string G, all right? So I'm going to go... In fact, I'm probably blocking that G string here with my thumb. It's probably a good idea to block it so it doesn't ring out. All right, so here you go. And just going back and forth from like that. And your strumming is down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's pretty easy, all right? slip to a, a C chord here, right? Second fret, third fret in the middle there. C chord, then back to that, that one note D once again. So C chord. All right, that's the opening pattern. Then there's a, uh, I guess it's a bridge or a chorus part here that goes down to this uh, configuration. And again, it's the same fingering as the G chord, the C chord. Now it's down here, which makes it kind of an F chord, although I've got an A ringing out here, so it's a, an F chord, right? And again, you're just doing the same type of picking pattern, the same type of strumming pattern. Here we go, I'll show you. Back to the G chord. F chord again, and you're going to end on a full D. This time I'm playing the whole D chord here, all right? Second fret there, and second fret up there, and the middle strings open. So one more time, the whole pattern. G, partial D. Let's go to the C chord. Partial D. Now that F chord part. Back to your G. That's it. That is Paul McCartney's Dance Tonight. And in fact, that's pretty much the whole song. There is another bridge part. You can get that in the lesson that I have on my channel, and you can get tab for this on Patreon. All right, and the final song on this list of uh, five more fun songs for mandolin is one that goes way back to the middle 1970s. And Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band, it's called Night Moves. It's a really cool song. Once again, the tuning is a little bit different on the original track. I believe it's tuned down uh, one half step. So if you want to play along with it, well, you might want to get one of the applications online where you can change the pitch of a song uh, and play along with it. But I'm going to show it to you here in standard tuning, all right? So we're going to go... Okay, so what's that? Well, that's your G chord, as I've shown you already in this video. And you want to deaden the string. You want to go, right? You want to stop it every time like that if you can. So what I'm doing is I'm hitting. So down. 
like that, but I'm using my third finger here to deaden the strings quickly after I hit that one chord. You see what I'm doing there? All right, so you're starting on a G, then you're quickly going to an F chord and then to a C. All right, so what's that F chord? Well, it's the fifth fret here of your G, third fret of your D, open A, and your F note, the root, is right there, first fret of your E. So you're going like this, G, F, right, one F, and then to a C, right, with two beats like that. Okay, so your C chord is, again, as I've explained in this video already, it's in the middle of your mandolin there, second and third frets. Okay, so one more time. All right, now there's one other part I can show you here in this video. It goes... Yeah, so that's an E minor, right, to a D, to a C, right, back to D, E minor, D, C. So E minor, D, C. Then back to... Like that. That is it. Five more fun songs to play on the mandolin. I know you'll have a lot of fun with those, and maybe some of those will be unexpected, like playing A Fast Car by Tracy Chapman or even Night Moves by Bob Seger. Uh, you probably never thought you'd play those songs on the mandolin, but you can, and they're a lot of fun. Thanks very much for tuning into this video once again. We really appreciate your support, but don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button if you're new, and uh, also check out all the links down below in the description box. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks once again for tuning in to RPN.